Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch Minecraft launcher and then check. If that does not work, run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, uh, if you have Xbox app installed in computer, you can open Xbox app and at the top right here you can see the profile icon. Click on it and then go to support option. Over here you will see gaming services repair tool. Click on it. Click on start repairing. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. This process may take some time and once this is complete, now you can launch and then check still not working then in that case you can go to in google you can search in gaming services repair tool and then go to official microsoft website once you go to the website on this website here you can see downloadable version click on it and then scroll down click on download the gaming services repair tool for pc and then you can run this exe file now if you see the click on yes and let the repair complete so this process may take some time. Now once the process is complete, you will see completed successfully. Now you can check. Now still not working. The next step is to verify and repair Minecraft launcher. Now for this, you can go to Xbox app and then make a right click on Minecraft launcher and then click on manage go to files and over here you will see the verify and repair option click on it and then click on yes and then once the repair is complete now you can launch and then check still not working the next step is to repair or reset minecraft launcher now for this you can type in minecraft launcher in windows search box make a right click on minecraft launcher then click on app settings scroll down at the bottom you will see the repair option click on repair and once the repair is done, you can check if that does not work. You can even perform reset, read this, click on reset. And once the reset is done, now you can check still not working. The next step is to create desktop shortcut and launch Minecraft launcher as an administrator using the desktop shortcut. Now for this, you can go to uh, Minecraft launch, uh, sorry, Xbox app, make a right click and then click on manage over here under general tab. You will see create desktop shortcut. Now you can go to desktop. Over here, you will see the desktop shortcut. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to uninstall Minecraft launcher, restart your computer and then install Minecraft launcher from Microsoft Store or Xbox website or Xbox app. So you can just type in Minecraft launcher in Windows search box, make a right click and then click on uninstall and then click on uninstall. After the uninstall, restart your computer and then you can open Microsoft Store or Xbox app and you can search for Minecraft Launcher and then you can install Minecraft Launcher from here and once installed you can check if that does not work you can uninstall Minecraft Launcher once again make a right click and then click on uninstall uninstall now after the uninstall restart your computer and then you can go to Minecraft website so go to Minecraft website and this time you can install Minecraft launcher from you can install Minecraft launcher from from the website. If that does not work in that case you can download the legacy version. So Here you can see uh, you can try, first of all try Windows 10 or Windows 11 version. You can install it from here. You can run this exe file and in install it. If that does not work, again uninstall Minecraft launcher and after uninstall restart your computer. Go to the website once again and then install this Windows legacy version. You can click on it and you can run this exe file. You can install the legacy version and then you can check. Once this is complete, you can launch the legacy version. If that does not work, delete Microsoft Store local cache files. Now for this, you can go to this location. So open C drive. Now open users folder. Open your username folder. Sorry, open users folder. Then open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show. 
put a check on hidden items open app data folder and then open the local folder open the packages folder and once you open the packages folder find this uh, Microsoft Windows Store so scroll down and find this so over here you can see Microsoft dot Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character you can open this folder and over here you can see local cache folder make a right click and then delete it now you can check if that does not work the next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description copy this command type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open powershell as in administrator and then click on yes to allow paste the command over here so let me copy it once again paste it over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color just ignore it let the process complete once everything is red now you can check if that does not work run this command this command is also provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator you have to open this as an administrator only and once this is open now you can run these three commands paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command paste it over here hit the enter key now run this third command and once this is done now you can check if that does not work the next step is to delete the content of token broker folder now for this you have to go to this location so open C drive and then open users folder your username folder app data local packages app data local packages and then open Microsoft Xbox identity provider folder so you can find it scroll down So over here you can see Microsoft Xbox Identity Provider. Open this folder and over here you will see AC folder. Open AC folder. Open Token Broker folder and delete the content of Token Broker folder. So make a right click and you can delete it. Now you can launch and then check. If that does not work, run WS Reset command. So type in WS Reset in Windows search box. Click on WS Reset. This will open Microsoft Store and then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to close minecraft launcher if it is open open microsoft store in the background and log out and log in with same account on store so open microsoft store close minecraft launcher if it is open and then click on sign out then click on sign in and you have to select the right account make sure that which has the game you can select the right account and then you can click on continue it will be asking for your pin or password so enter your pin or password over here once logged in if you have xbox app go to xbox app at the top left here you can see a profile i can click on sign out and then click on sign in again sign in and make sure that you select the same account which you have selected before you have to log in with same account on microsoft store with same account on xbox app make sure your account has the game or has the game pass once logged in now you can check if that does not work now open Minecraft launcher and then make also make sure date time time to time zone and reason is correct on your computer so open windows settings go to time and language and then go to date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on also make sure set time automatically is also on and then click on sync now sync now is important if you see it error in red color just click on sync now multiple times and then once sync is done now you can go to time and language language and region and make sure your country is selected over here select the right country over here and then check next step is to remove microsoft account from windows account settings and then try to log in so you can go to uh, accounts over here and then email and accounts now over here if you see any other account over here if you see the remove option you can remove it yes 
read this if you agree only then remove it and once that is done now you can open minecraft launcher and then try to log in now the next step is to start or restart microsoft account sign in assistant now for this type in services in windows search box and then go to services and then find microsoft account sign in assistant make a double click over here set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected you can make a right click on start if start is highlighted or you can click on restart and once this is done now you can check next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on inet cpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab over here scroll down make sure that you put a check on the box which says use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 1.2 1.3 1 make sure all four are checked over here and then hit apply click on ok and then check next step is to make sure gaming services and xbox identity provider is installed in your computer so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you will see microsoft identity provider and click on download option and it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store if xbox identity provider is not installed install button will be highlighted get or install button will be highlighted in my case it is already installed so it's telling install and it's grayed out so that means it is already installed no need to do anything but if not install you will see install option install it and then also install you have to first of all uninstall gaming services and then reinstall gaming services so type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then again click on run as administrator run as administrator is important and then click on yes to allow now over here paste the command so let me copy the command now once you copy it now paste it over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer and once it is uninstalled now on the same window you can copy this command this command is also provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter key this will open microsoft store in your computer and then you will see install button to install gaming services click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once gaming services is installed now you can launch and then check still not working the next step is to delete xbox login credential now for this you can type in credential manager in windows search box and then click on credential manager and then go to windows credentials now scroll down and if you see this xbl grts device key or if you see xbl device key so in my case i only have xbl grts device key so if you find xbl device key or xbl grts device key or maybe both or if you see only one of them you have to remove it so in my case it's xbl grts device key you can click on it and then click on remove click on yes and if you see this xbl device key remove this as well and then restart you can pick. and after the system restart you can launch and then check still not working start all these services now for this you can type in services in windows search box click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find xbox services here you can see four xbox services make a right click or you can simply make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click on the second xbox services set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click over here set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then to click on ok now find gaming services in the list so here you can see gaming services make sure this is running if not running you can just make a right click and then click on start or restart again make a right click click on start or restart now 
if the gaming services is already already running in that case you can just stop this again make a right click stop it and then restart gaming services so make a right click and then click on start and this should start automatically or click on restart now once this is done now find microsoft store install services here you can see microsoft store install service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok and then you can check if that does not work the next step is to get updates in microsoft store so open microsoft store and then go to the downloads tab over here and over here you can click on check for update and once you click on check for update if you see update option or update all option update everything from here and then you can check if that does not work the last step is to update your windows using media creation tool so if nothing works you can just update your, your windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation login to your computer